Hey guys, here we are in Southern Sicily at the Valley of the Temples archeological site. In the ancient Greece world, Agrigento was the third largest city right behind Syracuse, also in Sicily, and then of course, Athens. This is the Temple of Hera, or Juno as the Romans called it. It was built in 450 BC and dedicated to the Greek goddess of marriage, childbirth, and families. There's about a dozen temples lined across this ridge, all serving their purpose and dedicated to a different god. Imagine what sailors in the Mediterranean would have viewed coming into southern Sicily. Now we're right here in the remains of what used to be the southeast gate, where people would, one of the uh, entrances to the city, but just the ruins are left, not much remains. And of course, here we are at another World UNESCO Heritage Site. The city was founded by settlers from Rhodes and Crete around 580 BC, and it was the last major colony to be founded in Sicily. But according to Greek mythology, the city was founded by Daedalus and his son Icarus. Daedalus and his son were imprisoned in a tower on Crete. Being an incredibly talented inventor, Daedalus constructed two pairs of wings out of feathers and wax to escape the prison. Warning his son, do not fly too close to the sun, otherwise the wax will melt and the wings will fall apart. The two took flight and escaped the prison and they were freed. Overcome by the ecstasy of flight, Icarus did not heed his father's warning. He flew closer and closer to the sun until it melted the wax of his wings. Then he fell to his death right here. And this is the very famous Temple of Concordia. Built in the year 430 BC, this is one of the most preserved Greek temples in the world. Its only rival is the Parthenon in Athens. Named after the Roman goddess of harmony, it only has its roof missing. It has 78 columns measuring 20 feet high with its highest point of 55 feet. The temples were built in the Doric order with columns with four drums tapered with 20 flutes each. Once stacked, they were layered with plaster and painted and stacked with a smooth capital or top piece. So incredible, wow. During the Golden Age of Greece, Agrigento was widely known for its extravagant lifestyles of its citizens and its contributions to philosophy and the arts. The temples were built of limestone because there was no marble in Sicily. And this is the Temple of Heracles. Heracles to the Greeks but the Romans, of course, call them Hercules, the son of Zeus. The temple survived a fire that the Romans later repaired, and then due to some severe earthquakes, only eight columns remain. What an incredible walk through ancient history imagine what these temples look like before when they were in their prime right
from the columns that had fallen over. You can see right here the flutes that have been carved into the limestone. This looks like a juniper tree. They had these when I lived in California. Looks like some gardens to walk through, so I figured we'd cruise through and just check it out. I'm not sure exactly, but I know this place had a pretty sophisticated irrigation system and alongside that, an aqueduct system underground. I'm not sure if that's what we're looking at or not. I just, I don't know. It's blocked off, so I can't go explore. There's, there's no literature around saying what it exactly is. So I guess I'm gonna lose that on this one. Looks like we have some prickly pear cactus right here. And here are some hibiscus flowers. Okay, back to the temples. Check this out. The Temple of Zeus, they say, was the largest temple in the Doric world and it once stood here. I went to the museum earlier. Uh, check out this footage to see what it looked like. Okay, we have entered the gardens. These gardens are as ancient as the temples themselves, with olive and citrus trees, many of which are very rare and cultivated here. On top of the entrance fee to the Valley of the Temples, this is an extra few euros. They say with over the 600 citrus trees here, that in certain times of the years, it just fills the valley with a awesome fragrance. And you can take a look at the irrigation and I guess some of the aqueduct systems that they had in place here in the ancient times, which made the gardens so lush and and fruitful. So being just a very important part of the Valley of the Temples, the gardens here, I figured we'd come down at least take a quick look before we take off. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. And then of course, outside of the temple, you could find your very own souvenirs of all the different temples we visited today and other stuff that has to do with the tourism industry here in Agrigento. I nailed it. <laughs> You're not allowed to get drone footage, they said in the park so going outside the park 
So watch your back.